What is nirvana? The answer to this question must be twofold. One is understanding nirvana as a concept itself. The other is understanding why that matters to you. Yes, to you. And the ultimate goal is the latter. But this can be only achieved by understanding nirvana as concept itself. That's why we need to learn them both. Good news is that this is what we're going to learn more in the upcoming Sunday service at Rishi Kosekai Buddhist Center of Los Angeles, my Sangha, on February 11th, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're interested in joining us, please shoot me an email at kyoheimikawa at gmail.com for a Zoom link or just show up in person. I will be also joining online from Tokyo. Let's talk a little bit about this. Nirvana is a goal of the Buddhist path and literally means extinction or blowing out in a sense of the extinction of suffering, blowing out the flame of greed. So as it sounds, the goal of Nirvana has a sense of uh, cutting a flow of something that continues. This nirvana is an achieved state of mind that cut the flow, that cuts the flow of the experience of suffering. And nirvana is a complete peaceful state of mind that is free from the cycle of suffering and blows out the continuation of the experience of suffering or the greed and attachments. It sounds like an amazing state of mind, right? Yes, it is. And great news is that we can achieve this by appreciating the present moment of here and now rather than denying or negating what is given in the present. In contrast, we can also create suffering by depreciating and complaining about what is already given in the present. Peace or dissatisfaction and complain. Which type of life will you choose? That's what Buddhism is asking you to think about and act upon. The answer is clear. We all want nirvana, a peaceful state of our everyday life. So then the question is, how can we practice joy, appreciation, and mindfulness in our everyday life? That's what we offer in Richard Kosekai as a method of achieving this. The key is understanding of your awareness and listening with compassion to the hearts of the other and yourself. Well, let's talk more. See you Sunday.